Every day, Mary writes down the date and calculates the sum of the days it's written. For example, on March 19th, she writes 03 slash 19 and calculates 1 plus 9 plus 0 plus 3 equals 13. What is the largest sum that she calculates during a year? So let's first look at the months. There's 12 months in a year. So it'll be 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9, 10, 11, 12. So 1 would just equal 1, 2 would equal 2, 3 would equal 3, 9 would equal 9, 10 would equal 1 only because it's 1 plus 0, 11 would equal 2, 12 would equal 3. And therefore, 9 would be the greatest month. And because the ninth month is September, and September has 30 days. If we write down all the dates, all the way to 29, 30, um, 29 will become our greatest date, because it will add up to 11. And so our date would be 29. So our final thing would date day would be 09 slash 29. And if we add 0 plus 9 plus 2 plus 9, we would get 20. So our great, our answer for this question is E. Rectangle ABCD in the picture consists of four equal rectangles. If BC has the length of 1 centimeter, what is the length of AB? So this is a bigger picture of the picture that they gave. And if they're saying that this length right here is one centimeter. That would make these two smaller sides of the rectangle both 0.5. And now if we look at AB, it is a line with one long side and two small sides. So there will be two small sides and the one long side. And 0.5 plus 1 plus 0.5 equals 2. So our answer is C. One of these five nets cannot be the net of a pyramid. So let's look at the first one. So this piece right here can go here, this piece right here can go here, this piece right here can go here, and this one can go there. So A does work. Now let's look at the second one. So this can go right here, these two side pieces can go right here, and this top piece can come right here. So that makes B work. And now let's look at C. These two pieces can come right here, but these two both want to go right there. There's no piece right here in the black spot. So our answer would be C because that one doesn't work. Lucy and her mother were born in February. On March 19th, 2015, Lucy adds the year of her birth, the year of her mother's birth, her age, and her mother's age. What is the result she gets? So what they're saying is her birth year plus her age equals something and her mother's mother's birth plus her mother's age equals something so they said they were both born on february and and they said on march 19 2015 she recorded this march is after february and if you notice that if you add your age and the year that you were born you would get the year you're in if you've already had your birthday and they both already have their birthday, so they would both equal 2015. So you would just do 2015 plus 2015, and you would get 4,030. So the answer is C. A student wrote down a natural number. When she divided the number by 9, the remainder was 7. What is the remainder when twice that number is divided by 9? So, let's use n for natural number and q for quotient. So it would be 
n equals 9 divided by q for quotient plus 7 because that was the remainder. So that would get you your natural number. And because this, what's the remainder when twice the number is divided by 9? It would be n equals 2 times 9 divided by q plus 2 times 7. So we would get 18, n equals 18, divided by q, plus 14. And because we're dividing by 9, and our remainder right now is 14, that's greater than 9, we can subtract 9 from that. So 14 minus 9 gets you 5. So your remainder would be 5, and option 5 is C. Question 16. The area of the rectangle is 12. The lengths of its sides are natural numbers. The perimeter of the rectangle could be. So let's look at some numbers that you can multiply to get 12. There's 1 and 12. There's 2 and 6. And 3 and 4. Or you can do 4 and 3, 6 and 2, and 12 and 1. But there's totally only 3. And if we find the area for the first one, it would be 12 plus 1, which is 13. And that would be, that would be for 2 of the 4. So you do 13 times 2, and you would get... 26 for the perimeter. So B could be a possible answer. Now let's look at the next one. 2 plus 6 is 8, and that's only 2 is a 4. And then so 8 times 4, 8 times 2 is 16. 16 isn't an option, so it can't be this one. And 3 plus 4 is 7, times 2 is 14. 14 isn't an option either. So our answer is B, 26. Each of the segments in the figure need to be colored one of the three colors, red, green, or blue. Each of the four triangles need to have one side of each of the different colors. Three of the segments have already been colored as indicated. What can the segment be marked with X B? So, right here we already have blue and we have two reds to put in and there's the X. So, for this part right here, we have to have a blue or a green on all four of these spots no matter what because we have red as the base and we can only have green right here because we have in red right here and there's a blue already right there so we would have a red right here and if we and then that would make the green right here that so we would have to have a blue right here then a blue right here and a green right here and that would make it so that x is red so our answer is c in a bag there are three green apples five yellow apples seven green pears and two yellow pears Simon randomly takes out fruit out of the bag one by one. How many pieces of fruit must he take out in order to be sure that he has at least one apple and one pair of the same color? So, there's two ways you can do this. He can take out seven green pears and 30 green apples, one of those. Or he can do seven yellow apples and two yellow pears. And because he said he's going to take out randomly and he won't be paying attention to it that much. And he wants to make sure if he takes them out this amount of pears and apples, for no doubt, he will have a pear and an apple of the same color. So for this, we have to do the worst case scenario. So we can start off with seven green pears, because that's the greatest. We can do the seven green pears, and then the next greatest is the five yellow apples. And that would equal 12. And so, because those were both different types of colors, the next one we pick out is going to be making a pair with one of these. So what we would do is add 7 and 5. And because we're going to add one more, it would be 13. So our answer would be E. Thir a new chess piece called Kangaroo has been introduced. In, in each move, it jumps either 
three squares vertically and one square horizontally, or three squares horizontally and one square vertically, as shown in the picture. What is the minimum num number of moves the kangaroo needs to make it in order to get from its current position to mark the square marked with A? So one way this can do it is it can go down here. Then this can move up three squares and horizontally up here. And then it can come down at A. And that would be one, two, and then three moves. So our answer is B, three moves. Some, the same letters represent the same digits and different letters represent different digits. Which digit does the letter X represent? So let's see the b greatest possibility as to give the answer for X, which is six. So let's use six as X for now, and we can go down as the, if it's not right. And let's use the greatest one digit number for Y, which is nine. And now if we add them all up, we will get 21 for the first part, so we take put the 22 over and put down the 1, and then 2 plus 9 is 11, and I said it has to equal Z, 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 and I said the same letters equal the same number, and right here it's 1, 1, 1, so our answer would be E.